Hello there, everybody. This is John, and welcome to uh, Nancy Drew Resorting to Danger. This is going to be the first of two Nancy Drew dossier games that I am playing. So I'm going to start right here and put in my name, and then we will start this thing. All right. Okay, people are dead. An explosive situation has arisen at the Redondo, a secluded resort where the rich and famous go to be beautified and indulged in total privacy. Someone there has been planting bombs, and although so far they've done relatively little harm and the manager of the resort has fooled people into thinking they're just construction accidents, I've been charged with finding out what's really going on. When she heard where I was going, my good friend George Fane insisted I bring along her latest invention, a handheld bomb sniffing device. It's never been tested in the field, but it's designed to detect components commonly used in detonators, and she's almost positive it will work. I'm not crazy about the almost part, but it's got to be better than nothing, right? And as my other good friend Bess Marvin was quick to point out, the thing practically fits in my purse. So now that I'm pretty much prepared for anything, looks like I'm off to the Redondo. Welcome to the Redondo. You must be Nancy Drew. I'm Cassidy Jones. Mr. Blesky is waiting for you in there. You can go right in. On second thought, why don't you help me get organized around here? It'll help you get the hang of things. I can do that, sure. Okay, welcome to Redondo. This tutorial will show what you as a detective will need to do to solve the case. Ah... Uh, Shouldn't you be bringing in a bomb squad to find these bombs and shut down the resort? I click on object pairs, use them together some way, uh, find important objects, find objects, important sparkles, flowers, sparkles, uh, Put them in a vase. The vases were correct. It's kind of like we told you they were correct. But continue pairing up. All you have to do is select both items in succession. Uh, please, papers need to be put away. Shouldn't that be the receptionist's job? A file? Where? File? small lens over the file folder it means you're not done using it again receptionist well if you move this thing out of the way mate oh what oh pull oh okay it's a good thing it wasn't locked. Yeah, or else Nancy would have tore the the door right off of the the hinges. Now that the thing is open, now you can pair them. Uh, now try moving your cursor over the object on the desk. The briefcase cursor indicates that letter opener was added. Figure out what should be paired up with the letter opener. Maybe the letter. Get a closer look. Roster. Redondo employees. On site. Janitor. Guarantee you it's the janitor doing all this. Yep. The janitor. Definitely. They can do it alone. Okay. Come on, let me let me do stuff. Okay. Find stuff until sparkles show up. 
I just stole your note. How do you feel about that receptionist? Restock shelves and remove boxes. Dust the light above the front desk and clean the harmonica. Now you'll need the... Wait. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where? Where's harmonicas? Oh, there it is. There's something in that harmonica. I wonder what it is. Let's break the glass. Oh. You didn't want to protect it, hey? Need a screwdriver. A screwdriver. Perfect. More I wonder who this Hippocrates person is. Reveni Reveniter <laughs> renovating our family home. Restore records, modifications within each area I improve. Oh, no, this is the person that did the bombs, okay? Certain where were my parents? A greeting, a future physician. Do not forget the projects and the pillars of the house. Is this Curse of Blackmore Manor all of a sudden? Okay, what is this? Sixty dollars! That should do it. One hundred dollars? Oh, detective ranking. Maybe if you let, would let me do it. Then I, if you obtain the highest ranking, you'll get to view special credits. Oh, okay. All right. Cassidy, do you know who Hippocrates Bell is? Ah, he would be the original owner of this place. Of course, back then, the Redondo wasn't a spa. It was a private mansion. I hear he was a bit eccentric. I see. Well, I finished that list you had for me. Great job. Our boss awaits through that door. Oh, so the guy's dead, so... No, forget it. Look, Princess Mia, those are our rates. If you think they're too high, then frankly, maybe you'd be happier slipping into a nice hot mud bath somewhere else. Hello? Thanks for wasting my time, tightwad. Nancy Drew, good. You know why you're here, right? No. Of course. You want me to... Um, oh, click the right answer. You'll keep the conversation going. You'll get more points if you choose correctly on the right way. Uh, to pause the conversation, just click the menu to skip. Click on the, yeah, whatever. Oh, I thought it was an all- <laughs> If they would have had to have an all paid, all paid expenses a visit here, then I would have chose that. Of course, you want me to investigate the bombings. Shh! Do not use that word. You're here to investigate the construction accidents. Our guests hear construction, they shrug it off. They hear that other word, they get upset. These people are millionaires who come here to get pampered, not upset. The good news is, with that hair of yours, those clothes, that makeup, you'll fit right in. You really think so? Yeah. Everybody's gonna assume you're the new gopher. You know, go for this, go for that. The new general assistant. Oh. No, that's good. That way no one will suspect you're really a detective who's an expert at defusing bombs. Uh, I'm not sure who told you that, but... Of course, that also means you can't go around bothering people. And if somebody asks you to do something, you're gonna have to do it. No questions asked. Sorry to interrupt, Mr. Blesky, but I'm afraid I've got some towels that need folding. Oh, great. Another one. Well, you got here just in time. Would you like me to... See if any movie stars are around go out there and fold towels? Interrogate Mr. Jones! Uh... Yeah, fold... Would you like me to help fold towels? Folding towels is a code. It means someone's found a note saying where a bomb's been hidden and turned it into reception. 
Shoot. Look, I've got to take this call. Go on back out there. Cassidy will explain everything and get you started. Go on. Go. Nick Blesky. See, each bomb has been preceded by a note. The very first note said that it contained the location of the bomb that was about to go off. Unfortunately, the rest of that note, and each of the other notes that followed, was in some kind of totally indecipherable code. However, I'm sure you, detective that you are, will be able to decipher it, determine where the bomb is, and defuse it before it goes off with no problem. Well, I can sure try, but... Fortunately, the bombs aren't lethal. Truly annoying, yes, but truly dangerous, no. Apparently, our mad bomber just wants to torment us. Here's a map so you can find your way around the spa. That's a very bad map. This, this note had better be completely indecipherable, or I'm going to call you all idiots. Garden maze... Oh, that looks like, uh, kind of looks like the one in The Witness. And here's the note. Decipher it, and you'll be on your way. I can't take it? Sticky situation. In this minigame, your goal is to move the pieces so that they form complete letters. Move the pieces in the correct way by swapping them like this. Letters can also be so yeah, or dying. Okay, top part of a V. What the? So this is just like um um uh, da 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 Candy Crush. It's just never ending. Hang of this note. There are two rules for swapping. You can only swap a letter with an adjacent tile, excluding that, including diagonals. Yeah, the swaps need to be result in a complete letter. If not, it will be undone. Are you ready to play on your own? Uh, help button. No can't do that. Oh, it's up to... This is indecipherable. Do you notice when I reformed a complete... Yeah, I noticed that. No, I don't want a hint. I know what I'm doing. I'm sure I can turn off hints, but I'm not going to yet. Okay. Huh? I hang out in the tropics? Now, unscrambled letters, find out where the bombing is happening. Vines. Vines? Wonder what that means. Maybe I should look at the resort map. Map screen current. Uh, you need correct area. Vines, tropics, ivory. I don't think that's the location the clue is pointing to. Yes, it is. Right there. That's where the next bomb must be. Five thousand two hundred. Okay. 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 So let's see if there's any type of talking, and then yes. I hear someone. Who's there? Mr. Mingles, is that you? Speak. Uh, no. I'm Nancy, the new bomb inspector. Bomb maker. Even Mr. Mingles can tell that makes no sense. Ah. Come again. What? I'm the new general assistant, and you are... Just call me Mrs. Montague. Now, quickly, scratch the left side of my nose before I go absolutely insane. Hurry. Well, that's... 
Scratch, I thought it was shake. Ah, wonderful. Now get me a cup of lime sherbet. Two scoops with a sprinkling of citron zest and one cinnamon stick. And a spoon, of course. Silver, not plastic. And don't plan on going anywhere for a while. As you can see, you're going to be the one operating the spoon. Oh, God. Actually, I kind of need to do something else right now. Do something else? Really? Like what? Get fired like the last alleged assistant Flesky sicked on me? Keep this up and that can easily be arranged. Lime sherbet, did you say? On second thought, forget the sherbet. I'm chilled enough as it is. The hot water for this bath doesn't seem to be working. Find out why and fix it before my gloriously flawless skin becomes a hideous landscape of goosebumps. All right, now I can end this off. In the next one, I'm going to help her. But until then, I'd like to say thank you all for watching. Hope you all have enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next one, and goodbye.